On this tutorial you will learn how to do the hat like this, which is standing on one position and the mouse is hover only the item and you can use this item. Let's go! The first step is to add a new scene in our autoloads. It will be the hat and will be the canvas layer. Let's change the name to the hat, add a texture rectangle. I prepared here a item HUD. Let's drag and drop it to the texture center on the bottom. And next let's add a texture button, which will be the first item. Of course, I prepared another texture for this. And normal texture will be the blink dagger. Let's also add this to our auto loads. It will be on the auto loads folder. Let's change the name to the HUD, add, and everything should work. Ta -da -da -da. And we have already the HUD on the, our screen. The best thing about the canvas layer is no matter where the camera is going, the canvas layers are always on the one position. To prove this, let's go to the player scene and add a camera 2D. In Gadoo, adding the camera is very, very easy. Let's go to the camera 2D. Let's check it's a current and probably that's all. So let's open our project. Let's move and everything is working. Yay! Oh yay! But, but we have a new problems. The first one will be the fixing the mouse because it's under the texture. To fix it, let's go to our mouse scene and also change this type to the canvas layer. Canvas layer. If you have the script attached, Let's change the script also to extends from canvas layer. The first problem here will be the canvas layer don't have the global position. So now let's use our sprite, get the position for the sprite as a get viewport, get mouse, mouse, mouse position. And now we have the perfect situation when the sprite position is equal to the mouse position of the screen and da 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 da. Now we have the nice mouse position, but not everything is working correctly. To check this, I will show the original mouse and as you can see the mouse is pointing the center of the sprite. To fix it, let's go to the sprite and the center of the sprite is this red cross. So this is an offset. Let's change this offset to pointing this finger. We can copy the values from the position. So it will be the 11 and 7. And now the center... Oh, and 6. Sorry about this. And now here we have the center of the sprite. So no matter where the sprite will be, it will change the position to the mouse position. And you can see that everything is working correctly. But I wanted to show you how to do the mouse above the texture. So now we have the perfect situation that the mouse and the hat is a canvas layer. And the layer for the mouse need to be higher than the layer from the hat. Here we have the two. And hat have only one. So now we have the mouse above the hat. Next thing is detecting the item and click it and use it. Go to the hat scene, attach the script, will be the hat and connect the signals. Maybe change the name of these textures to items and item. And here let's go to the rest in the most easiest part because after the signal Let's go print use this item. Let's test it. When I click it, the output is telling us use this item. Next thing, let's do the play save tree to the mouse entered and mouse exited. So here let's do the mouse play 
safety. And here, let's do mouse reset. If you don't remember, our mouse play safety is making the animation for our safety, so the mouse will be the green. Let's test it. And when I'm hover this, the mouse is changing the color, but it's bigger than I thought. It probably it's because we need to change the sizes and now the hover should be fine. Yes. The last problem for this tutorial that we need to solve is that when I click the HUD, the player is still moving, so we need to block it. To do this, let's go to our mouse script, do a new variable, can player move, and set it by default to the true. Let's go to the HUD scene, go to the items from the HUD, go to the mouse entered signal and also the mouse exited. And when the mouse is entered the HUD, the player can't move. So it will be the false and here will be the true value. And also when the mouse is going to the item, it should also do the same. So let's use these functions. And in our script for the player, we have a piece of code when we check the input for the game move. So here we need to do the end mouse can player move. And this should prevent the player from going and it's working. Sorry, but there is a, one more thing that is not working correctly. That is the play, that is the move of the player. So when I'm clicking here or here, the player is not going where I clicked. It's because the this function is getting the wrong position. When you change this to the get global mouse position, everything should work correctly. And now, as you can see, we have the everything working. If you want to check the code, remember that you can always find this code in the GitHub page. More in the description. And also thanks for watching. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Have a nice day and so on. Let's kill it one more time.